Hello guys, what is up? Beckbrojack here, back for a, another Minecraft video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft mods on Windows 10. I hope you all enjoy. So about a month ago, I showed you guys how to get Windows 10 Minecraft Edition for free if you already had regular Minecraft, and the question popped up about how to get mods on that. Well, sadly, you cannot get mods on Windows 10 version yet, but that got me thinking that I could show you guys how to get mods on regular Minecraft in Windows 10 because as you know, if you've updated to Windows 10, the interface has changed a little bit. Plus, I haven't made a video like this in a while and there are new links out there and there are new recommended versions, so I thought that what the heck, I might as well do it. You guys were asking for an updated video on how to install Minecraft mods, so here we go. So first things first, you're going to go to the first link in the description down below, files.minecraftforge.net. You're going to go to download recommended. You're going to hit on installer. And then you're going to wait for that to load. You, in the top right, it will say, please wait. Make sure that you don't hit on any of this ad stuff or you could get bad malware and viruses. So uh, after a couple seconds, hit skip. And then that is when the download will begin. So once that is done downloading, you can hit it in the bottom left hand of the screen. And you just have to wait for the installer to open. We can actually minimize Google Chrome for right now. Now, as you can see, a little interface pops up, Minecraft Forge, you can hit install client. Now, before doing this, make sure that you have ran Minecraft Vanilla 1.8 at least once because that is what Minecraft Forge is actually going to mod for you. So if you have not run Minecraft Vanilla 1.8 at least one time, this is super important. Make sure that you go do that before doing anything else. I'll show you guys how to do that really, really, really fast. You're going to go into Minecraft, hit edit profile, go into your versions, and then hit on 1.8, hit save, and they're going to play it and then load up a world and then you can exit back out. So yeah, once you have done that, hit install client. I already have it installed. So as you can see, it says successfully installed the client to 1.8 and it will actually create a new version profile for you, which you can click on. If I open up the launch right here, hit on edit profile, and then I go to the versions. And then I can see that there is a new version right here, release 1.8 Forge 11, 14, 3, 14, 50. So you're going to click on that one and then hit save. Now you will have Minecraft Forge installed on your computer. That comes with three different mods that will unload any other mod in the entire world. I'm pretty sure anyway. So now let me give you guys some test mods that I like to use. The first one that I have here is Shaders Mod, which I use in most of my videos. So we're just going to try out this version right here, version 1.8. We're going to hit download and see what happens. So you're going to scroll down to the bottom, hit on this little thing that says download, and then you're going to hit on link one shaders installer for Minecraft. Now this will work for any mod. Just make sure that you go to the mod page and then hit download, and then you can put it in the mods folder, which I'll be showing you guys how to do in a second. All right, so I got the download link working. Sometimes you just have to keep on hitting the add fly link and refreshing the page if the cookies start acting weird. So yeah, once you're done downloading the mod, just hit skip add. And then you should get a little jar file right here. Now we're actually going to need to click on the little drop down tab and hit show in folder. So once you have this in your folder, this is where it starts to get a little bit complicated. So you're going to probably want to keep track of this and drag it to your desktop. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear out space right here. We're just going to minimize everything else, open up the folder, drag it to the right. And uh, we're just going to not have anything else going on there. And then we're going to drag the shaders mod to our desktop. So make sure that you do that. And we're going to do the same thing with the Optifine mod. So the version that works very well that I found with shaders is Optifine 1.8.0 HDUD1. So we're going to download that real fast and drag that to our desktop as well. So after five seconds, just hit the skip add. And now we're going to hit on download Optifine and... Uh, make sure that you don't hit anything bad. I'm hoping that this is gonna do it. No, 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 don't let it happen. Okay, bad, bad. Okay, if that happens to you, just, just exit out and then just try again. There we go, now it's working. Okay, yeah, don't, don't download viruses because that would be bad. So yeah, now that we have this, we can drag this to our desktop as well. We can either open it in the folder or I'm just gonna do a quick shortcut is just dragging it from the downloads bar right to my desktop. So now that we have these mods here, we are going to put them in the mods folder. So to get to the mods folder, you're going to go onto the search web and windows down here in the bottom left. You're going to type in percent app data percent and then hit enter. So that will open up the file folder of all your different programs and at the top will be dot Minecraft. So you're just going to open that up and then you're going to go to the mods folder. Now, if you do not have a mods folder, if this is your first time ever installing mods, all you have to do is right click anywhere on the white space hover over new folder, and then you're just going to name it 
M-O-D-S, no cap, no spaces, and then hit enter. It's gonna ask me if I wanna replace it, so I'm just gonna hit no, because I already have a folder like that. So yeah, you're just gonna need to create a simple little mods folder. It's nice and easy to use. So now we're gonna open that up, drag this over to the side, Go back to our desktop and now we can actually drag in the mods. So once you have done that, you are good to go. Any mods that you would like to be in Minecraft 1.8, you're gonna drag over here. This also works with 1.7, 1.6 mods. If you're going that far back, you just need to make sure that you download the correct version of Forge for the version of Minecraft that you're trying to download mods for. So now we can minimize out of this, go into Minecraft. You might actually have to restart the launcher. So let me just do that really fast. And if it's not already on the 1.8 forward select profile, you're going to go in the bottom left, hit edit profile, go to use version, and then you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and then make sure that you hit the correct version that you actually installed. So I installed 14.3, 14.50. I'm going to hit on that, hit save profile, and then I'm going to hit play. So it's going to download all the necessary cores and all the jar files for Minecraft 1.8 Forge. And then hopefully, if you cross your fingers, it should work. Bang. There we go. We got Minecraft running. Now, if it does crash, probably it's a mod error. So you're going to have to take out one of the mods. You're going to have to probably problem solve and uh, just figure out which mod is causing the problem. But I know that these mods work correctly for Minecraft. Now I'm just going to full screen this for you. Now in the bottom left, it'll say three mods loaded. You can actually hit on the mods over here. And this one only shows Forge over here. That's because these are very, very tiny mods. But just to show you guys that they are working, I will load up a brand new single player world. We're going to creative here and I will show you guys that Shaders mod is working and Optifine is working. All right, guys. So the world has loaded. If we look in our options menu, you'll notice in video settings that we have a ton more options than before in regular default Minecraft. We have a quality tab. We have a bunch of other tabs, performance, details, animations, and we can also zoom in with a specific button. So yeah, that is the Optifine mod. And then also if we go into here, go into shaders, I already pre-installed some shader packs. I also have a video on that. If you do not know how to install shader packs, it's really easy, but we could just test out one of these. Let's test out the blue shaders mod. And bam, as you can see, I have shaders. All the leaves are doing the dance of love. As you can see, they're just all shaking their bodies. And the sun looks freaking magnificent. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go smash that like button. That would be super duper amazing if we can get like 200 likes for this video. Also, make sure to go share this video with your friends if they're having trouble with installing mods in Minecraft 1.8 Windows 10. But anyway, guys, that's my time. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Beckbro Jack, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.